Hello and welcome to the QA Underground. In today's video, we will be going over a tutorial on how to automatically generate Selenium tests using GPT-3 and Python. In today's video, we're going to be covering how to generate a GPT-3 instance, send an example data to GPT-3, send prompt to GPT-3, receive output from GPT-3, and generate test file from output. Some of the terminology used within this overview will be clarified during the tutorial. Step one is to create a new project within PyCharm. Step two will be to add the gpt.py file from the gpt3-sandbox repo on GitHub, which will be linked in the description below. Once that's added, we will install the OpenAI dependency. In step three, we will create the simple text to selenium.py file where we will be working out of. In step four, we need to add our imports to the simple text to selenium.py file. Those imports include OpenAI, and OS. In step five, we need to call our secret key within our property. Please note that you will need to get this secret key from OpenAI's site. Once you do so, you can create the OpenAI object from the GPT definition. In step six, we need to add our examples to the OpenAI object in the following format, gpt.addExample, then example, and then enter the prompt and the completion that you want to use as your example. I have found success with using three to four examples. Now that we have our example set up and added to GTP3, we can now create our prompt and output. The prompt is the simple text you will send to the GPT-3 API to generate a test script from. So for example, we could send a prompt stating, create a new definition called test script and create a new Firefox driver. From that prompt, the output may return something similar to the code shown below. The output property submits the prompt request to the GPT-3 API and returns the completion JSON object. For example, based on the prompt sent, it will return the code below. Thank you. 
And finally, in step eight, we need to generate our test case based on the output returned from GPT-3. Some of the parameters that I want to highlight here is CodeGen. CodeGen is basically the output out to a string. The name property is the name of the file being generated. The folder name property is the path to the directory where the generated test script will be saved. And finally, the path name property will be the path to the generated test script. In today's video, we covered how to set up an OpenAI object, add examples, and set up a prompt and output, then generate a Selenium test script based off the output from GPT-3. If you enjoyed this content, please subscribe to the channel. We will be doing additional tutorial videos on GPT-3. Make sure to hit the like button. Every bit helps. I'll see you on the next video.